Hey YouTube, this is IBA, and today I just want to show you guys a theme, and this will be part of theme episode one, and the theme is called Live OS. So let's just go ahead and jump right on in. All right, guys. So this theme is really, really complex, and I'm just going to be doing this off of a mod my eye post on a tutorial on how to set this theme up correctly. All right, guys. So this is the post here, Live OS. And if you scroll down here on the right, you can see in the more info a link that you'll need to click on. Visit the official form here. Okay, so now you just scroll down to the installation part, and you will see that you need to install these certain things here. So you need to install per page HTML from Cydia, Spring Jobs, InfiniDoc, or Scrolling Board, and you also need Gridlock or iBlank to uh, place your icons. So these are what you need to get from Cydia, and when you have that done, you can move on to step two. So we are going to need to SSH into our device. I've already done so right here. And let me just show you guys right quick. All right, so it says copy all folders inside Spring Jumps duplicates to applications right there. All right, so to do this, you just need to go all the way back to the root part of your uh, SSH then go to var and then scroll down here to stash go into themes and click on the live OS theme which you can get from Cydia and this is what we will be editing alright so go into the installation guide and you are going to copy all folders inside spring jumps duplicates we're just going to copy that click copy Alright, so once you've copied it, you can just drag that over and just place it in the white area and then just click on copy. And there we go. So now I'm just going to respring and show you guys what it did. Alright, so basically all I did was just add this extra page to your springboard and it was just these right here, page 4, page 5, and page 6. And that's pretty much it for that right there. So now we're just going to move on to step three here. Copy all four live OS theme folders to that place right there. So we're going to go back into our SSH. And we're just going to go down to var stash themes and just shift click um, only these right here. Only these four right here and right click copy click OK and then let it do its thing okay guys so I'm really not sure what this part is about right here it says and also separate the live OS loading screens dot themes I'm not sure exactly where that is I've searched a little bit and I've just not been able to find it so uh, we will just skip that step and see if there's anything really wrong with it I don't think there will be so this next step is InfiniDoc must be set up for six dock icons. So let me just show you guys how to do that. Uh, go into your device and you're just going to go to settings and once you're in settings you're going to go to InfiniDoc and here we go InfiniDoc and we're going to do icons per page six and and you can just do however many settings you would like, it doesn't really matter. Now you just need to start the Spring Jumps app. So I'm just going to search that since I'm not exactly sure where it's at. Uh, with the spotlight search, Spring Jumps, there it is. And it's going to, it says to enable only Spring Jumps 1 through 6. See picture at the attachment and rename them. Uh, so says any changes made to preferences will cause springboard to restart upon exit okay okay so we're just going to go to jump icons and then uh, here they are right here uh, we can just edit whichever ones we want I'm gonna change I guess we can just change them however um, page one we'll just do uh, YouTube I just want to show you guys I'll rename these myself uh, whenever I find whatever I want to rename them, but I'm just going to go with YouTube and then page two we'll just do uh, games and then page three we can do jailbreaking those can be all the jailbreaking apps and then you can just 
go on from there. Um, next part is close the app and place these six spring jumps at your dock. So as soon as it closes, it's going to respring, and I'll be right back with that. All right, so that's done, and we are just going to uh, move these to the uh, dock. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Um, just find where they are, tap and hold, and you can just move them down there. And it moved over the other apps, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and move those out, just like that. So that's what it looks like down there, and these are just pages. As you can see, if I tap on YouTube, it takes me to page, um, should take me to page one, but it takes me to page two. You got games, and then jailbreaking, and then it goes on from there, page four, page five, and page six. Uh, and we will get into that in just a second. All right, so now right here it says note. If you, oh, it says right here, do not enable spring jump zero, the first one, and make sure its text field is empty. Note two, if you rename the spring jumps, you must respring to take effect on it. All right, so I'm going to go back into spring jumps and do what it says for the page zero. All right, so go to jump icons, and we're going to disable page zero, and we're going to take out the text. So make sure there's no text right there. Click OK, and that's it for that. And just gonna click home here and it should respring. Alright, so that step is done. Now for step six here, uh, for your home screen, pre place the clock app at the top middle and four other apps slash folders two rows below it below it, like shown at the screenshot one. So uh, the screenshot one is basically just what it is. Um I really don't see where the clock app actually is on this, but uh, we can, I guess, search for it, and we can see if it's a big icon. I don't think it is. Uh, let me try and find it here. All right, guys, so here's the little clock app, and it's supposed to be a big block like this one right here, but it's actually just a blank icon, so I'm really not sure what's up with that. Um, but we can figure out how to fix that probably down here somewhere. Uh, so we can just, I'm just going to go ahead and put settings where it says, and then I can move all the others. All right, so that's what it's supposed to look like. And we can do the following for pages one through six. And it says place also one of the back arrows on top right see picture 2 at the middle of each page and then it says place all the others you can exchange you can change that later okay guys unfortunately it did not tell us uh, how to get the clock thing right here um, what you need to do is you need to go into per page HTML which is probably just one of the apps that you'll see and you just click on analog clock and it'll mm -hmm. just tell it to paste it onto uh, page one and it should work all right and uh, that's pretty much it and then it'll just respring um, so this is just how it should look uh, just having the little clock right there and then I'm not sure what to do about the little mini clock app that you can see right here but I've uh, also put one of the back buttons right there which is kinda cool and I just lined a few apps down here so uh, that's pretty much it for the front page, and then I've just been working on uh, the rest of them right now. Uh, I actually need to move down that clock, but I don't think I can. Um, but that's, it'll kind of add a little effect to it, I guess. It's not formatted to be just like the rest of them, as you can see, but uh, it gets the idea across. So I'm just going to continue, and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I have finally finished, and it took quite a while. Um, I've put the uh, widgets how they are supposed to be, and I've put the four little icons underneath. I've also put the uh, little back arrow up at the top, like it says, and that's pretty much it. Um, I would recommend that when you name your 
uh, things down here at the bottom, you would put like folders right here of things you need. So this is really going to be a very complex thing if you guys haven't figured out already. Um, but as soon as you hit the arrow, it takes you straight to the very home screen. Um, you can hit that arrow anywhere. Uh, I think that is all of them. Yeah. So let me just move this front one here over because it's not supposed to be there. Alright, so there we go. Uh, that is pretty much the hardest step out of all of this. Um, let's just go ahead and continue. We're going to copy all of the folders that you find inside the per page HTML folders to that area right there. Start the per page HTML app and allocate all of these folders to your pages starting with live OS spotlight to spotlight, live OS page one to page one, and so on. Okay, so uh, I think basically it just means that we need to go into. So we're just going to go into the per page uh, thing here and uh, let's see if we can just accomplish that just by doing it on here. So uh, here's the widgets live OS page one. We're going to make that page one. We're going to make page two, page two. We're going to make page three, page three, and so on. And let me just keep on doing this here. Uh, I don't know if you guys have t been able to find out, but this is really a very, very, very complex theme. All right. So let me just do Spotlight, and that's it. All right. So that's all of those. And when you click home, it's probably going to respring. And indeed it did, so I will be right back. Alright guys, so once I did that, it added this really sexy clock to the home screen, which is what I was trying to find. And uh, down at the bottom here, it also added these little page markers. And if I scroll over, it mm. shows the page. It says page 6, but obviously that's wrong. Um, I'm sure you can do a little playing around and figure that out. Uh, another thing I noticed is this up here has changed. Now, I'm not sure if this is because of something I did earlier when I SSH'd, but it still looks very, very nice. So, um, yeah, I can tell that these little markers down here, just it's backwards. That's all it is. So, uh, somehow I will fix that, and I'm sure you guys can figure that out. Also, if you scroll over, you can see this live OS right here, and it just looks really nice so far. Alright, so we're just going to continue on here. Um, so now we just need to enable all Live OS themes at Winterboard, which you probably should have already done, except for the wooden floor mod. Make sure the Live OS themes are at the top of your Winterboard list and disable other themes you may have installed that could conflict with this theme. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start with this uh, weather setup right here. So we're just going to find our weather code here. And for US users, I'm just going to use this site like it says. And uh, let's continue reading here. It says, search for your town, then open extended forecast, and then look at the address bar of your browser. And you should see something to the lines of this right here. And that's what we need. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to go ahead and search mine. OK, so I've just put Atlanta because I am near Atlanta. And I'm just going to go find uh, the extended forecast, which I'm not really seeing here. Here it is right here, the 6 to 10 day. Go to extended forecast. And here we go up the top, USGA for US Georgia. And then that right there. So I'm just going to copy that. And I can go ahead and exit out of this. Uh, it says write this code with iFile on your device or with a text editor on your PC, which I'm just going to go ahead and do that from here. Um, so here we go. Okay, so what we need to do is go back into the themes part of your SSH. Alright, so what we need to do is go back to the uh, root and then go to library and then themes and then liveosweather.theme. Alright, so what you need to do after you're at this part is double click the location here.js and you are just going to take out this right here and paste the little code there and I believe that is it. So you can just hit the little save button here and exit. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Um, now we are just going to exit SSH, click OK, and then I'm just going to respring my device, 
and it should be just how we want. Um, this is part of my themes episode one, and there will be many more to come. So be sure to subscribe up top for those, and uh, also follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook fan page. Um, go ahead and thumbs up this video, and comment down below what you guys think of this, or any issues that you guys are having. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.